Now, many times in our work with formulas throughout the four years of the program, you will find that prefixes will be used ahead of the unit of measure, and that's to either change the size of the value or to go to whole numbers. Let me give you an example. We talk about a transformer having a 25 kVA rating. Volt amps is a unit of total power, and we'll get into that. But uh, 25 kV stands for 25,000 volt amps. So it's much simpler to put the prefix on there as long as all of our tubs are, are in, uh, in uh, thousand values. Much easier to put the prefix on there and then show smaller numbers. But now to use that particular value in a formula, we have to convert it back again. So that's just one example. Uh, talk about a 40 megawatt generator. That's 40 million watts. So it's much simpler to use a prefix ahead of watts and then use a smaller number. However, like I say, to go into a formula, you have to convert it back again. So there'll be a lot of conversions that you'll have to go through when you're working out your problems. I'm gonna show you a method that you can use for the conversion from either to a whole number or a fraction, whatever the case might be. We'll use a, a line here, and in the center of that line, we want to use our whole unit. I'll put a whole unit right in here. This might be, let's, let's use watts. We talked about watts. Let's just put watts right in the center here. Now, watts we can represent in multiples or fractions of. On the left side of this chart we're going to show here, we're going to put the fractions. In other words, we'll, we'll split this down and we'll put our fractions over here We'll put our multiples over here. Now we talked about K being kilo and representing a thousand. We just talked about that. That is a multiple. If I put K over here, that'll represent a thousand. If I put an M over here, which represents a mega, that'll represent a million. Okay, this is kilo, and this is mega. Okay, now those are multiples. Over here we'll put the fractions. Now we'll use a small m here, which will represent a milli. And that is one one thousandth of a unit. We'll go one more for a micro, and uh, we're going to represent that with a, looks like a backwards Y or a U. And that, that will represent one, one millionth. Okay. So now we've got, we've got our multiples and we've got our fractions of. If you'll notice, there's three decimal places between every prefix. I can put a three there, and it represents three decimal places either way. Let's say that I've got, uh, we've mentioned a 25 kVA transformer. We have a 25 kVA, and I want to find out how many volt amps that would represent. Now I'm going to take my watts out of here. I'm going to convert this back to a whole unit. Now a volt amp in this case happens to be a unit. Like I said, this is power and it's total power and we'll do more work with that later. Just accept at this time that volt amps is a unit of measure. If I want to find out how many volt amps that represents, this is the mechanical steps that you'll take. I'm going to go one prefix to the left. 
in this case I'm going to the whole unit, but I'm going to move over one position to the left. That means I go right with my decimal three places. So then I would have 25,000 volt amps then, see. Okay? Let's, let's say that I have, uh, let's, let's go back to the, the, the milli values. Let's say I've got a whole unit and I want to find out how many milli values I got. Let's, let's say that I've got, let's say that I've got five amp. And I want to find out how many milliamp I would have. Now I'm still going left with my prefix. I go right with my decimal three places. In other words, I'm, I'm going with my prefix. I'm going this way. I have to go that way with my decimal. Okay? That means then that my decimal will be to the right of the five. That means if I, if I go to the milli value, I'll have to go three decimal places over. I'll have 5,000 then milliamp. Okay. okay. Now let's start out. Let's let's say that I have uh, uh, let's say that I have six microfarads, and I want to find out how many farads that would be. Now that's a unit of measure, capacitance, and I wouldn't worry about any units of measure at this time. But I'm going to go right. I'm going to go right with my prefix two places. Now I have to go left with my decimal. Now you see, now this time I'm going right with my prefix. I have to go left with my decimal. And I have to go, I'm going two places, so I have to go six places with my decimal. So I would have, I'm going to have six, and I'm going to have five zeros. In other words, I'm, I'm moving over six places. So actually farads, I would have tenths, hundredths, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. I would have six millionths of a farad, you see. Now, you see in a, in a, in a problem that you may have, the problem could be given to you in, say, for example, six microfarads but to put it into the formula, you're going to have to convert it, you see, to six millionths of a farad. Uh, that's going to be true with your Ohm's law, your power, all your reactants. For any of the formulas that you have, you'll have to convert them to, uh, to whole units. Now, if you'll look in your information sheet, there's samples, there's examples there of, of the very same thing that I've done up here. Just make sure you know them because you're going to have to use them quite often.